Welcome, Eurovision fans. So I think it's time to continue with my 2014 series. And so what better than to uh, put this out on a Mega Monday? This is the third song in my entry for the day. Uh, we're going to look at Delara Kazimova with Start a Fire from Azerbaijan. I have never heard this song. In fact, I haven't heard much about this song. Um, it's not one I hear of when people mention Azerbaijan's best songs. And that's just on my part. You know, I haven't heard it. I have no idea what type of music it is or what to expect. So uh, this is just me looking at 2014, a lot of songs I haven't heard. Uh, I do kind of, unfortunately, can't guess whether this qualifies or not because I know it qualifies because I know the history of Azerbaijan. And that crossed my heart last year was the first song to not qualify from Azerbaijan. So uh, I do know that this qualified uh, I just uh, don't know how it finished, so uh, leave that a secret, please. <laughs> don't tell me the finish. Don't tell me the finish if you can avoid it. Please, I'm trying to do a ranking and don't want to be influenced. So uh, <laughs> I will try. I will try to keep the comments open. So let's take a look at Dilara then. Start a fire. Oh, shoot. I skipped. <laughs> Beautiful voice. But no one seems to be cold and she lets he has. Love that. A school girl run by trying to beat the pain. People dropping toys and coins and wishing away. But no one cares for dreams. Awesome looking stage. That's actually giving me some goosebumps there. I love that they use the trapeze artist too, that's really cool. I'm getting the goosebumps at the end there. Looks like 2014 had some just really nice staging. Very nice. That was definitely a beautiful song. Thank you. Azerbaijan never sends a bad song. I mean, it just, I can't think of any that are bad. I know Cross My Heart was not critically acclaimed. Uh, I found it to be a guilty pleasure. I really enjoyed it. Um, but this was nice. It was smooth. Uh, there was a lot to look at with the performance. Yeah, if I have to score it, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. It's one that I really like. And, uh... 
definitely will probably end up being a top tier song on my list. I have, um, I believe this is number four that I've looked at, so I've got a long way to go, but this is a quality song. It's beautiful, and it's the kind of song I like just relaxing or listening to at night before bed or just, you know, in the morning sometimes. Sometimes I don't need a pet me up song. Sometimes I want to wake up slowly and stuff, and this is the type of song I listen to. It's very beautiful, and I love that they use the stage to its full effects. So if you want to consider the song slower or boring, you have a lot to look at. There's a lot of illumination going on. There's a lot of graphics, and then you have a trapeze artist. It really was a, felt like a very intimate performance. So, yeah, I definitely approve. I think this is a great song, and I, uh, would love to look at some more of her music, actually. I would love to see a little bit more. So if you have any suggestions and you want me to check out any of her stuff, let me know in the comment section below. So uh, 2014, the journey continues. I've now done four countries and uh, going to keep going with that. So 2014 videos will usually be out on Thursdays. Uh, I will keep Thursdays reserved. I will be coming out with a set schedule for my videos now that I am not working two jobs. I'm working one at the moment. So uh, I will be a lot more organized. So look for those on Thursday for my 2014 reviews. For now, going to continue with this Mega Monday. Lethargic Sloth, out.